Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a new video. So in today's video, we have got a massive, huge B&M haul. Like, do you ever go into B&M for one thing and walk out with a shop? Like, I don't even know if I even went in for anything. I think I did. I think there was one thing I was actually going in for and I came out with over £100 spent. So yeah. So I picked up a lot of Christmas gift ideas, things like that. So it's almost like a B&M Christmas gift guide as well, because a lot of these things I bought for my home and myself, but they are so good for um, gift ideas for Christmas. You know what I'm like when I do my hamper videos and stuff like that. I love home stuff, anything like girly and home and all of that. It's basically the gift guides I ever do, which I don't do like major gift guides. Every time I do them, it's all things that I want and I buy for myself. <laughs> um, but yeah, let's get into what I picked up from, from B&M. They've got so much in at the moment, so many home bits, Christmas, gift ideas, all of that sort of stuff. So we've got a mixture. So let's get in and see what I picked up from B&M. Okay, so I'm gonna kick it off with this straw cup, soda cup, whatever it's called. Um, it is bright pink, which is absolutely beautiful. You know me, I love bright pink, love a bright pink anything. Um, it's like that Barbie pink. It's really, really good actually. This was only £3.50 and it's really big. Look at the size of it, like it's huge. Um, and I thought this was a good, again, this is a good stocking filler, like a gift idea. Um, but I thought I was gonna, I thought it was a good idea for Isabella. Isabella would really like something like this. And you know how I do like my little Cricut projects? Well, you could, Put a label on that, personalise it, and it's done. You know, three pound fifty for this, and then just label it. It's all done. So if you've got a cricket machine, all my fellow crickers, um, then yeah, you can personalise this and give it to someone for Christmas as a lovely gift. So I absolutely love this. Or you can have it plain. Don't have to do that personalised. There's only a couple left on the shelf because I'm assuming that this is a really popular product. Um, but yeah, little gift stocking idea for. Well, it's a little gift for his better for Christmas. The next thing I picked up, I picked one of these up. This this has become like a tradition of what I buy in Harrison every single year. You know, like how you get traditions of like the link set and things like that for people. Well, this is my tradition for Harrison. He absolutely adores and loves blankets. Like, to the point where he's got that many, I'm like, can you get rid of some now because they're getting old? Um, but I picked him up a new one and I always get these ones at B&M. And it's these blankets here. They are such a good gift idea, by the way. Absolutely amazing. This one is like the safari sort of beige. And it's so, so soft. It's got that really soft material. It was only £7. And as you can see, it's like all the safari and all that. They've got a green one, which I'm actually tempted to go back and get. Because on, when I tell you, he loves blankets. I, he really does. So... I'm thinking of actually getting the green one as well, but I like this one because it went with his bedding. Do you remember the bedding I just bought from B&M, which was £15? Well, this seems to be the matching blanket to it. So I've just thought this was a good one. He's never had a beige one before and it goes with his bedding and it's the safari. So yeah, love this. Um, so yeah, if you're stuck for like little gift ideas like that, blankets, honest to God, amazing. So yeah, glad I picked that up. I think we'll go back and get the green now because I just love the green one as well and he loves green. I, sh I was um and ah and I was like, should I get the green or the beige? And I thought, you know what, this goes for the bedding. He's never had one this colour before. So I'll go with this, but now I kind of want the green as well. So, because I've got an obsession with green at the moment, as you can see, um, green everywhere. <laughs> so talking about my obsession with green, we've got some Christmas decorations here that I got from B&M and it is this there are the honeycomb tree decorations and it's in the green with like a gold, they've got like a gold glitter. I don't know if you can see that. Now they, they had these, they were five pounds for a pack of two. Now I'm thinking in here, the kitchen, as you know, I, if you watch my decorated me, if you haven't seen it, I'll link it below and um, or put it up here somewhere. But yeah, I like the green this year in the kitchen. As you can see, I've got the green cushions. So I was thinking, you see where I was going with this? Um, so I'm thinking either it could be a table decoration for Christmas or I was thinking of putting it on, if you know what I'm looking at, on the side bit, but I'm not quite sure yet, but I just absolutely loved them. I thought that they looked so like expensive, even though they're like made of paper, like they just looked so like very nice. Yeah, very um, high end. I just felt like that's what they look like. So I picked those up, absolutely love them. Then for Isabella's bedroom, I've got the kids the gray version of these rugs, but I actually wanted to get a cream one. I didn't know they did them in cream. 
Like I used to have the cream matte ones, but the matte ones now, nah, they were eight pound or something like that. And do you know what, they're rubbish, don't get them. This one here is a little bit more sturdier and I've got it in the cream. So they're 15 pound, they're just like a little bed, you know, a little bedroom rug, nothing massive. If you see my claim on these, you'll see the size of Harrison's, the previous one I've just done. Um, and these ones are so, so soft. They're much better than the little matte ones I had before. And I had this in grey for Harrison when I first moved in, then we got, an, then I had to replace it. And then, um, yeah, I didn't know they did this. They, they did the little ones in cream. So I picked this up for Isabella's bedroom because I just thought that the cream would look nice um, in her room um, and she'd appreciate that. I was going to, this is what I was going to pick up, but I was going to pick it up in, no, it wasn't this, it was the blanket. Anyway, we'll get onto that in a minute. But yeah, I picked this up in the cream just to change it up in her room and make it look a little bit different. It abs I, look, oh, I look absolutely lovely and it's so, so soft. Kids love these rugs because they're so soft and they actually are quite sturdy, like they're quite thick, they're not like they're matte. Actually, I've just remembered what I did actually go in for. I actually went into the M for one of these. It's a travel mug. So as you would have may have seen, I just got a new Nespresso coffee machine. I know, don't even know who I think I am. I've been wanting one for so long. Do you know it's one of those things I've been wanting for so, so long, but I haven't bought myself because it's just expensive. Well, I got a good deal in the Black Friday sale. So on Link of Life, it's still in a good deal, but it's the Latissima one and um, with the milk frother and all of that. It's absolutely amazing. It's gonna save me a lot of money on coffee because as you just know, I like a bit of Costa and going there every day costs a lot of money. So it's gonna save me in the long run. Anyway, I wanted to get a travel mug so that I can make my coffee up in the morning to do the school run or go out and do whatever, dog walks, all of that. I just wanted one of these. This was only £3.50. And yeah, I might even put my name on it, you know, just to do a little quick project on it. But I like these ones, particularly like these just basic ones, basically. Um, I really like them. They seem to do the job. So yeah, picked that up. And then Isabella actually wanted one. She said to me, because she likes making hot chocolate in it. So she wanted one as soon as it's coming into winter. And so I picked this up. This is just for now. But again, these are really good gift ideas. Like, again, you could have this if you've got a Cricut machine, label it. If you don't, buy the label and personalise it. Whatever it is. Or just give it as plain. Good gift ideas. Amazing stocking filler ideas. Um, so yeah, they actually had in B&M, these were £3 for these ones. Um, they had these ones, like kids sort of, well they're not just for kids, but they had um, they had these ones with their initials. I can never find an eye by the way, so this was amazing to find an eye. So they had this design, which is like a pinky sort of purpley colour, um, and then they had it in the blue, which I, if I, I think I took a little clip of the blue one, but they never had a H in the blue, otherwise I would have got in one for hot chocolate as well. Isabella really wanted one of these so that she can go to school with a hot chocolate, or for football hot chocolate so yeah I picked her that up Um it's got the silicone thing which to be honest I don't really like the silicone ones but we go with it anyway but yeah so that was only three pounds only three pounds so bargain and yeah good gift idea for Christmas same on the cup section I was in this section for so long I don't know what I was buying <laughs> I literally bought loads of cup stuff. But I thought these were really good. I had these in three different designs. I think I've got a clip of them. So if I have, I'll, as I'm showing you, after I've showed you, I'll roll the clips. Um, they're a free pack of kids' tumblers with straws. Now, they're like the plasticky straws too, right? So they've got this design. It's only one, they were £1.50. And they had like this sort of apples and whatever the hell design that is. Little fruit on it. They had like little fruits. Sort of like that. Hold on. Little fruit like that. pound fifty for a pack of three. They had a boys version. Um, and they also had a rainbow version. Now I just, I, I could have got the boy version. But Isabella might have this as well. So I just thought, you know, she could have the boy version as well. But I thought this, I actually really liked the little fruits. I thought they were really cute. And um at the minute, Olivia, not that she's gonna drink out of these, but she may do in the future if they last. Um, she loves the fruit on the sensory channel on YouTube. <laughs> so I just, it reminded me of that. So I thought I'm gonna pick those up. Harrison would like them too. So I just thought that they were an all rounder, but for a pack of three for £1.50 and they're little cups with a straw. I just thought that that was really, really good and really good value for money, to be honest. So um, yeah, I picked those up and I love that design. I have another thing that's a really good gift idea. I picked this candle up. How beautiful is this, by the way? I'm not being funny. 
when I saw it, I don't even know what vibe it gave me. It's not White Company, is it? What is it? That, you know, a very expensive brand. It just made me feel like it was very expensive. It's very in at the moment, all these beads. Now, it is a candle, and it's a coconut and soft sandalwood um, scent. It smells absolutely amazing. It does smell really, really nice. It's got two wicks, like so. It was six pounds, and yeah, oh my goodness, how nice of a gift is that? Like, come on. I would love to receive that for Christmas, I'm not gonna lie. It is so nice. Look at the beading, I absolutely love that. And I just know that all these beads are sort of in at the moment, all this neutrally beads style. And I just thought, to be fair, that is actually really different and I've bought it for myself. <laughs> so yeah, I bought that for myself, but look how stunning that is. Like how nice is that? Six pounds, lovely gift idea that would be. Now, on my Clean and Decorate With Me's that I've just done, a lot of people ask where I get my ribbon from. So if you can see, this is Deco Mesh here. So this is Deco Mesh. And then I don't see, there, there's the ribbon. So obviously I cut my ribbon up and I usually do two ribbons, two different ribbons together. And it sort of creates like a nice design. Now, by the way, this slim tree is from Asda George, George Asda, whatever you want to call it. Everybody asks about this tree. But when I decorated this tree in my Decorate With Me, um, everyone was asking where I get my ribbons from, and generally I get, I've got them from B&M. So this white one here is this one here. So I picked up more of it, let me show you. If you can see, but it's got like a snowy type of effect in it. It's really, really pretty. I'm trying to get the angle for you, but you will see in my Decorate With Me, if you see a close up of what it looks like, and in my last one, but I've got a white one, and I also, they do free for five pounds and it's the wired ribbon you want and this is wired ribbon and i also got two of the champagne colors champagne gold um or gold whatever you want to call it it's the velvety sort of range they had red they had green in this velvet one and i just couldn't make my mind up what i wanted but i've got loads of red by the looks of things but i've not got no gold and I thought, you know what, I might do, because I'm going to do another decorate with me, um, which I don't know if it's going to be after this video or before, I can't think of how it's going to go. But if you remember the garland I put down my stairs, I'm thinking of doing gold and white this year and not red. I'm not sure. I'll wait until I see it because I do love my red on my hallway, but I just want to change it up a little bit. So I might do these ribbons going through it and decorate it with gold decorations rather than red. So that's why I picked that up and see how I go. But that's where I get them from. I get them from B&M. Another gift idea, love this. It's an LED candle. Now this is very, I think it's very white company vibes. It's got seagrass running through it. Um, so yeah, it's called the Natural Home Natural Grass LED Candle. It was six pounds. And as you can see, it literally has, yeah, it literally has, let me see if I can get a bit of, it literally has all of the seagrass running through it. And it just looks so expensive. It's really, really big. And like I said, it was six pounds. And then when you turn it on, it does that. So it doesn't flicker at the top here. Because when I looked at that, I did think, what the hell's that? It flickers through, like it lights up throughout. Now, you're not going to be able to see it properly because obviously it's daylight. But how nice is that for a gift? I absolutely love this. And I'll tell you why as well, because I actually have LED candles that I got from Asda. Yes, I buy everything from Asda, by the way. Um, now, they were a little bit better because they flicker at the candle this lights throughout but i haven't seen this at night but it's still a very very nice gift idea really really nice then i got these thought this was really good one pound 49 you get six a six pack of air fresheners for the car i just thought it was really good for me jonathan to share um yeah just loads of air fresheners and they look quite nice you have like the warm vanilla you have tropical berries i don't know if you can see that you have sweet pomegranate, sweet cherry, fresh linen, blush peony. Yeah, six of them. And again, because I turn everything into a gift idea, good stocking filler for, see if you've got a teenager, or, yeah, a teenager that's like just about to do their lessons or just about to pass their test or has passed their test, just got a brand new car or anything like that. Brilliant, brilliant gift idea, I think, for a stocking filler. Perfect for anyone who's just passed their test or anything like that. Um, so yeah, got that. Then I picked these up 
It's the it's a luxury set of wax melts. They're one pound fifty. It's the fireside marshmallow ones. Again, another gift idea. You know, you could put these in a hamper or a stock and filler. You know me, I love these. I've already said about these before though, but this one in particular, it's fireside um, marshmallow, and they are. It smells so strong and so beautiful. Definitely need to get these if you see them, just to try them. They're so, so nice. And look how luxury look, look. they're only £1.50. Stay, staying on the candle thing for a second, because I've got loads of these as well. Um, I picked up this candle. Again, a lovely, another gift idea. Don't know what that reminds me of. What does this remind me of, this print? But it's very, very nice anyway. It's coconut and sand, soft sandalwood. Very, very expensive looking, if you look at that. And it was only £2.50. So again, you know how I like to do my little hampers and all of that. This is a perfect thing to put in a hamper along with stuff like these. Absolutely love it. And it's so affordable and it just looks amazing in a hamper. Um, so yeah, definitely check my videos out from previous years if you haven't already. But £2.50, bargain. Another gift idea. I've got this for Isabella. She's been wanting one of these for quite a while actually, I believe. And I've seen it in there and I've seen it more expensive elsewhere. So I've got to pick it up. It is a moonlight and it's the color changing 3D lunar light. It's seven pounds in BM. I believe it's more expensive everywhere else. And yeah, just really, really nice. I just thought she'd love that. She loves anything like that for a room um, type of thing. And it changes different colors. So yeah, it's just a moonlight, but seven pounds. I thought that, that was really, really good price. So I picked that up for as a present to add to Isabella's pile. And to add for uh, stocking fillers, Isabella is really into crystals and things like that at the moment. I don't know if it's a trend, I don't know what it is, but she's really into it. So I thought I picked these up, they were really cool. Um, it's her month of birth, August, and it's got the crystal, but it's a pen. It was only £2.50, brilliant stocking filler this is. Um, for a, you know, like if you've got a girl that's like tween teenagery, this is sort of thing that they like, by the way. Um, and yeah, it's a crystal on the end and it's a pen. She will love this. Absolutely love this. So great stocking filler to add. And also a key ring in the same thing. So August, so it's got all the months of your birthday and all of that. So this one in particular is, like I say, it's August. If you can see that, I'm not sure if you can. So it's August and it's just a little keychain. £2.50. You've got two little presents. Again, you can put these in hampers or stockings, either one. Perfect for a teenager, tweenager. Then I picked up this. This is just for my front room. But again, an amazing gift idea. I would love to receive this if, you know, anyone's watching. These are the type of things I want for Christmas, just to let you know. Let Jonathan know. You know, Jonathan, if you're still watching, probably not even watching at all. Anyway, it's this blanket. Oh my goodness. How beautiful. Can I just add, for starters, it's so pretty. It's £15. It's got the little tassels, right? Lovely over a bed or particularly I want this for over my sofa. But it'd be lovely over a bed too. I can change it around anywhere. I don't know where I want it. But for now, I want it in my living room. It is so, so soft. It is the Sherpa Fro. So it's that Sherpa material. It's 130 by 100, 130 by 160 centimetres. And yeah, at absolutely amazing again a lovely gift idea any teenager would like this as well because it's all the rage these sort of things another gift idea is a blanket and look how big it is like you can wrap that up and it's quite big but yeah love that love that i can't wait to put it out i picked up some cleaning bits so as you know i recommend these highly um it's the fairy incense boosters they smell insane if you've seen my previous videos you'll see me talking about these and that's because i found them when she was in special care when olivia was born um and they her washing smelled amazing it's the same story her washing smelled amazing that they put her in they put her in an outfit it smelled amazing and i was like what is that i had to ask all the midwives they didn't have a clue and when i went to morrison's i found this and smelled it and it was these so yes they make your my whole bag smelling like it smells amazing so strong and someone actually commented before saying thank you for recommending them because her car smelled amazing. And that's exactly what happened to me. My car smelled amazing when I first got them. Obviously, I want to get them every time. It's just amazing, which is a good idea. Put these in little pouches or something. Put them in your car. Um, you know, keep it smelling nice. It's a good little wear, cleaning, smelly tip for you, for your car. I also picked up these, which was £3.00. And it's just the microfibers. I needed a new window one and stuff. And I thought, you know what? I'll get some fresh ones. I haven't bought any for a while. 
um, it's always good to change them up even though you can wash them like they can lose like their it's the material it's sort of you can lose something in it that doesn't end up cleaning anymore and it just ends up moving fluff around i learned that from when i was um, in my cleaning job that i did you have to change them up every now and again so you can't we can use them forever but to get good use out of you need new ones. Then I picked up an elbow grease sponge, one of these. I think this was £1.49, I believe. And yeah, I just wanted a new one. This was pink. So I thought I'd give it a go. And picked up Mrs. Hinch's uh, Flash Sparkling Home Spray Wipe Hinched in the Frosted Eucalyptus. I love the big, you know the big bottle that you dilute the floor? Is it the floor? I don't even know what it is, but yeah, I love that. So I thought, do you know what? I'm going to try this. I've never, this was like £2.50. It's quite expensive for a cleaning product, if you ask my personal opinion. <laughs> but everyone goes on the bottom. I love the smell, to be fair. I do love this smell in the other thing, and it will smell the same. It will just make it easier for me, maybe. I don't know. If not, I won't use it again, but I really wanted to try it, and I thought, why not? Let's just give it a go. And I also picked up the mist, the Febreze mist in the Hinches range. Again, this is something I'm going to definitely love. I love the Febreze sprays and this scent is really, really nice. So whilst they were both in the store, I picked them both up. Then I picked up this Fabulosa. I haven't bought Fabulosa for ages, but I see this is about a pound or something. Um, and I really like the idea of it. It's Festive Fairy. So it's their Festive range and it does smell absolutely amazing so i thought why not so that was everything that i picked up in bnm this time i've got lots of christmas ideas gift ideas it's a bit like a gift guide because a lot of that is gift ideas you can even give that as a gift come on let's do a little cleaning hamper for all the cleaning lovers all the mums like me who love stuff like that buy stuff like that and you're done you know but yeah absolutely amazing lots and lots of gift ideas oh they've just got so many things in there but let me know in the comments what your favorite thing that i picked up was my favorite thing has got to be it's got to be my blanket. This has got to be my favourite thing. I'm sorry, but this is my favourite. Let's get it right. But let me know in the comments what your favourite thing was. Let me know if you've been starting your Christmas shopping, if you've finished your Christmas shopping, if you're ahead of me and organised, mum and all that. And if you did enjoy this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Mm -hmm.